Ani Borjo, Niji, Benezi Dijnikas, Wajash Dora Manashnabek, Mangan Dora Modnashoni, Alderville Donjiba, North Bay and Diana Nashnabek and Dow. I'm I'm pleased to uh, uh, you know to read from this little book, dropping in for her after school milk and cookie snack. Phoenix Eagle asked, Grandpa, what is a treaty anyway? Well, my child began McGeezy Eagle, and uh, McGeezy, just so you know, which is her grandfather's name, McGeezy is the um, Ojibwe word for eagle. So his name in the book is McGeezy Eagle, which means his name is Eagle Eagle. Treaty is a fancy word for promise. The humans who came to these shores from far away used it when they first came here. And when you look at some of the pages in this little storybook, you'll see that, that um, the, the, the things that take place now are in color and, in, and some of the um, things that are being talked about that took place many years ago are depicted in black and white so that you can, you can tell that it's, it's in her grandfather's memory. Almost all people who came here from far away, places like Europe, like England, like France, uh, as long as they came peacefully, they were usually greeted very in very friendly ways and they, they had big feasts for them. And it looked like it was the start of a very, a very good relationship. Phoenix munched away on one of her cookies while she looked up at her wise old grandfather. But what were the promises about, she asked him. Uh, you can see her, her, um, her grandpa's uh, memory. And, and you have to imagine that her grandpa is a very old eagle because this, these events that are pictured on this page happened uh, over 200 years ago. And he, as an eagle, of course, he could fly. And up in the left-hand corner of this page, you can see him as a young eagle flying over the scene below. And you can see pictures of, um, of people they're actually government officials. One of them is wearing a top hat and he's shaking the hands of, an, of a First Nation chief. Fires in the background and, and teepees or wigwams. And Grandpa Eagle remembered when he was a young bird soaring high above a big meeting at this treaty gathering were two groups of people. The elderly eagle smiled recalling the dancing, the drums, the flags, and smoke billowing up the, into the air from many fires and pipes below. And you can see that that chief is holding a pipe and a pipe for, for many First Nations people is a very sacred object. Uh, they put a very pure tobacco in it and it's a way that they pray. And when they make agreements with people as they did at this treaty gathering, they, um, it's like they're praying together, uh, making an agreement, and they believe that when the smoke goes up from that pipe, that it's, it takes their prayers up to God, up to the Creator. And up in the right-hand corner, you can see Grandpa Eagle, McGeezy Eagle, in his current um, dress, uh, looking at the, at the image of the settlers on the other side of the field. And, and you can see they're starting farms, and you can see someone in the background plowing a field and this was all made possible, the settling of what we call Canada, by these agreements called treaties and at the ceremonies that were pictured on the previous page. And that enabled the first settlers to come and start farms and, and villages and communities um, in, in what we call Canada. McGeezy remembered out loud that the newcomers wanted to share the land with the people who had always lived here. They promised to share it and take care of it forever, as long as the grass grows and the sun shines. So Phoenix thought for a moment and then asked, but how do promises work? And she washed down the last bite of her cookie with a gulp of ice cold milk. Well, um, said her, her grandpa McGeezy, you and your mom and dad make promises all the time. You do chores. I see you help your mom dry the dishes and I see you help your dad take out the garbage. They do some nice things for you too, don't they? Yes, Phoenix said, mom makes pizza sometimes for supper and dad takes us to the movies. I get to have my very own bedroom. There you go, Grandpa McGeezy replied. You already have a treaty started with your mom and dad. 
So Phoenix wipes the last remaining crumbs from her fingers and she's heading out the door while her, her grandpa is waving goodbye to her and he's gonna clean the few dishes from her little snack. Cool, she exclaimed. I like promises, especially when they involve pizza. And being inclusive uh, means that you respect promises you make um, to anybody, regardless of, of whether they're from a, a different culture than yourself or not. And uh, in this case, Canada was founded by people of a different, um, different cultural backgrounds, Indigenous peoples, uh, than many of the people who came here later uh, to establish governments. So inclusivity is, is part and parcel of the treaty understanding because, uh, you know, just because someone that comes from a different background than you do doesn't mean that, that you can't, you shouldn't respect them and respect your promises to them just as much as if they were uh, part of your own family.